Welcome to Lake Como Vlog! Lily's doesn't even look real. I say that probably in every single video, but welcome back to the vlog. We took some time off of vlogging just to give ourselves an actual little like trip, vacation. Oh my gosh, there's so many bugs. Hello. Holiday. So we actually have been in Kos for a little bit and then we've been on a bit of a road trip around Italy and so we've had a bit of a break from all online vlogging. I guess that's basically yeah, I still go on Instagram and stuff. But we wanted to do one last final vlog for our six week Europe trip that we've been on. It's and coming to an end. We are finishing our trip in Lake Como. We have a car. We've been on a road trip like I said and this is our first night. We checked in to where we're staying and we are now currently walking to dinner. I had like 15 minutes to get ready and that was post shower, hair was wet. I think you look amazing, babe. We made it and we're going to dinner, somewhere that was recommended. So it's about a 20 minute walk and it's just absolutely stunning as to be expected. And yeah, we're just gonna bring you along. I'm not gonna keep this intro too long. So stay tuned for all the fun Como adventures. Woo, let's be vibing. I think I'm just taking the waves. This is a cute little restaurant. It's very quiet because it's October, um, which we love. We're sitting outside. That's the view. We made it and I think we were only like six minutes late maybe. We put in a shift on the walk, didn't we? Yeah, a little out of breath now, but literally just like look at this. This view. So we're gonna look at food, drinks get ordered, but literally. Oh, they have so many pizzas. <laughs> so stunning. pastas and a pizza because we just really like, couldn't really decide them all together. We're like, yeah, let's just do it all together. Um, I think it's the biggest serving of pasta I've been served since being in <laughs> That's big. That's mine. And then we have whole pizza. And the pizza's big enough for it be as well. I'm going to take um, leftovers and have them for lunch tomorrow. That would be terrible. Because this, this is the size of my face. Freaking heck. Good luck, babe. <gasps> We've made a serious mistake. I literally ate my pasta and it looks untouched. Like this, okay, this is my hand. Good reference. Like it is. It's a lot of food. It's Joke. a massive amount of food. And Will's making good progress on his. We haven't touched our pizza because we're like, okay, we're gonna take that to go and eat that tomorrow for like lunch or something. We're hoping we take the pasta to go as well, but it's just a bit like, oh my gosh, it's a bit embarrassing. Very, very delicious. So good. It's just like four. I said to Will, it's like four times the amount of pasta we got. This like really cute little restaurant the other night. So you just never know. You just don't know if it's gonna be the cute amount, if it's gonna be the it's like, like the, the like feed your entire family amount. Well, one time we were at somewhere while well, we've been on our like little Italy road trip, and our Airbnb host said to us, "They're like, oh, go to this place for like pasta or whatever." and only order one because it feeds two. And we're like, okay, great. So we did that and it was like this amount. Um, we just didn't have that warning for this restaurant. One dessert, because we're learning our lesson. Is it good? It's called homemade cake. So, but Ooh. I know what I'm saying, is it good? It's just great. I, I'm, a, I, I'm not sure what cake it is. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Morning, I'm taking a bit C and RIP to me that right. <laughs> I'm a little bit taken aback, which is why I sound probably a little bit dull. I literally fell down the stairs. Not the whole stairs, but just the bottom ones. I can show you. Only about two of them. Do you see how there's like a little, let's not fall down again, Annabelle. And there's like a winding staircase. Well, I fell down the bottom of it and really hit my back hard and then my, or my feet, which is a bit random. Mostly my back though. And it really hurts. We were just about to leave. And so I'm like... Feeling a bit tender. Feeling a bit tender. So I'll take my Vitsy. We'll check in in a moment. This is my little outfit. She's cute. Just feeling a little sensitive. That we're staying that we should take a ferry could be tricky to find parking was a bit tricky to find parking we found somewhere walked to our ferry waited for our ferry and we have made it to Bellagio it is absolutely stunning so we're sitting at a little restaurant cafe bar type of vibe and we'll already order us two Aperol spritz 
We're gonna have a drink, chill, and we actually have a pizza as you saw left over from last night that we brought with us in our bags. We'll have some pizza probably later, like sitting somewhere and looking at the water. And it's a great time. My back is actually hurting pretty badly from falling on the stairs. It definitely like cut my skin a little bit, but I think it's gonna be bruised um, and it just hurts. And like my back hurts anyways. So that's been a bit of a sad little uh, moment for me, but um, it's gonna be okay because I mean, look at this view right here. This view right here. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's lots of other people. I don't want to get other people's faces in it, but you can kind of get the idea of where we're sitting. Just a big restaurant. Pearl Spritz with the Brit. <laughs> Poet, and you didn't even know it. We did. I have to admit, we came up with that rhyme before I started filming. We. You. <laughs> so we're sat on these steps, Watch literally the just with this insane view. We was trying to cut our pizza with this like little wooden Wooden. knife that we like collected somewhere along our journey a long time ago actually. Is it cutting? Um, oh, it is cutting. So we can have some lunch. Our Aperol Spritzes were delish. And this view is insane. Alright. Getting it over there. <laughs> Early slow. Lunch time for somebody. It certainly is. They're just so long with the... The neck. Wee! <laughs> All right, party people, we have this bottle of wine. It looks so funny. I know, classic. It's like a bottle of like, oil or something um, that they've like, reused recycling. Literally, the last place we were staying, there was a little local supermarket nearby that had local wine on tap. So just like you'd go into a pub and there'd be like beer on tap, they'd have wine on tap. They'd give it to you in these bottles. So you would basically buy the bottle and you'd fill it up. And for the bottle, oh, so it was one euro 95 for a liter of wine. One euro ninety five for a liter of wine, and then one euro for the bottle. So yeah. It's three euros for a liter of wine, which is more than a bottle, and it's really nice. Yeah, and usually, like if you were living there, you just keep bringing your bottles back and refilling them. Yeah. But we just took some for the road because it's very. So wet. we have. So they had red and white. So we have red and we have white, and we have more yeah. white at home. But right now, I'm having a little glass of the uh, of the red. Cheers. It's very good. Local wine's been the best wine that we've had this whole trip. Oh yeah. Something's a local wine. Um, it's always cheap. Local wine is the move. I think, like, in the US, like, I'm not used to, like, cheap wine being good wine because that probably is statistically. So, like, here, when you see something that's, like, so affordable, you're like, oh, it's going to make me feel crap. And it's like, no, literally, it doesn't. It's, it's stunning. It's so good. We've got stunning wine with a stunning view. La, 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 la. Okay, gelato secured. Ah, I got chocolate and cafe. It's literally so good. How's yours? Mm, really good. I got some milk cream and then like chocolate chip. Literally so delicious. Mm. We're now waiting in line for our ferry. Barely surviving out here with our, tough, tough <laughs> with our gelato. <laughs> about an hour walk we're too tired so we're driving it's like a 10 minute drive so we just couldn't help ourselves um i'm currently wearing something super chill this piece was in my primer call which go watch that if you haven't including these shoes um from Italy's store called primark i mean it's not just in italy it's in the uk and stuff as well yeah cute little outfit ready for dinners will's looking very fly I'm fresh. Hello. Yummy. Come on. Oh, we are back home in our Airbnb. No, not Airbnb. This isn't a B. This is a B and B. So bad. No air. We've been in Airbnbs, but not this time. Back in our B and B, and we had the best dinner ever. The restaurant we went to was amazing. The food was so good. It's I think probably. Labaya. You saw it, Labaya. Labaya. It was beautiful, but the food was so good. Um, service was amazing. Everybody was so nice, and they we, even gave us some brioche to take away. Yeah, we enjoyed cooking our meat. We had some lovely wine. Yes, they gave us like their version of a limoncello, which I had at the end um, since I wasn't driving, and um, they literally just gave us like this bottle on our table. And I think you probably could have had as much as you want. I didn't have very much, but the hope is that you buy it, I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, they had loads, and they had an amazing gin selection as well. Part of me wondering with the limoncello, it wasn't limoncello, it was... It was called Timoncello. So like, do you think Like, limoncello, but with a T. Do you think that's their brand? Maybe. 
maybe. Anyways, it was really good. And then they gave us, yeah, some brioche or something that we could have tomorrow. And we had a great night and it was just really good. Some great chats um, about life and the next season what? of our life. Because we're moving to California. Yeah, we're permanently next week. We move in less than a week permanently. Permanently <gasps> is nothing is permanent, I guess, right? That's what we've been thinking about. In the words of a wise friend, nothing is permanent. Um, but permanently in, in the most in the biggest sense that it could mean for our <laughs> life so far. Like nothing's ever been permanent for us, so it's the most permanent. Um and but yeah, just also so how thankful we are for you guys and just YouTube and also TikTok if you've came from there, or Instagram or wherever you've come from. I'm just so thankful for you guys and getting to make content for you. And yeah, it's just a crazy time to be alive. Uh, what we're we're alive. gonna go to bed probably soon. We will check in with you probably sometime tomorrow. In the morning. Bye. All right, you guys, hello. We are just having a cozy day today. In Lake Como, we got up, had breakfast, and had just been like laying around in bed, looking up apartments actually to rent in California, um, and just kind of chilling and relaxing. We are really tired. Um, I'm particularly tired because like traveling is so much fun, and we're so grateful to have been traveling and literally wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. But I think it does catch up to you eventually, and like not having your rhythms can make you feel tired as well. So today we're like, okay, it's raining. Let's embrace the slower paces. I think it's almost 1 p.m. Um, I showered and Will showered. He's downstairs relaxing. I put on some worship music. My candle's lit as you've seen and I'm just gonna get ready. I think we're literally just gonna like get in the car and drive and like see what looks cozy and cute. Um, like I said, it's raining. It might chill out a little bit, but today mostly it's all raining. I'll show you. I have the window open actually because it's not super, super cold. Um, and you can see the mountains over there. Um, it might clear a little bit, but it's definitely still raining. But honestly, it's been kind of fun because we have been in a lot of places that have been super warm. And so kind of it being October and, you know, seeing people like my friends at home and stuff, like getting cozy and decorating their houses for fall. I think this is like, makes me feel happy even just because it feels like an autumnal experience, um, which we love. So that's what's going on. I'm going to do my hair just in a sleek bun. Um, which I do a lot. It's a bit repetitive, I know, maybe boring. I personally love it, but also um, I'm out of dry shampoo um, and my hair is fine. It doesn't look bad or anything down, but because it's raining quite a lot, I kind of just want it out of my face and um, I'm probably gonna wash it tomorrow or something. And I kind of just want to put some like oils in it and just kind of rehydrate it. Um, I like to do that every once in a while. So stay tuned, I'm just gonna do that um, in a montage. I have a full dedicated video on how I do my sleek bun. We'll link it in the description if you wanna watch the full tutorial, but you can watch me do it here now um, as well. And we're just gonna get ready. I'm gonna play my worship music, spend some time with Jesus. And yes, yeah, stay tuned for the cozy, the rest of the cozy adventures. clouds oh. in our cute little place. Just getting ready and Will got ready. He's dressed now. Um, and then I was just filming some TikTok. So, so now we are leaving. It is, this is so embarrassing. 3.15 p.m. It's not embarrassing. We've been doing life admin as well. We've been chilling and yes, life admin. Um, I've been doing some very important life admin. So we're about to drive to... Oh, tell about the seats we booked on the... Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Sorry, my phone started playing music. Um, yeah, we're about to drive to like a really cute little town, so we'll show you that. But while um, we were just chilling, Will was um, booking seats or looking into the seat situation on our flight back to LA, which is Thursday of next week. So we have less than a week until we move. But um, he was looking at the seats because we like to sit together and different things like that. And it's kind of a long story, but because of Will's green card situation, um, he is it, he's all good and safe, thankfully, with his green card. But it makes it a little complicated for him to check in in advance because oh. they want to check his information at the BA desk the day of his flight. 
Anyways, all that to say is by the time we get to the desk that day, you aren't really allowed to like pick seats anymore or it depends because most oh, they're people- they're all gone basically. They're all gone because most people can check in 24 hours in advance and pick their seats, but we can't because of Will's situation. Um, so anyways, so our only option is either to just wing it and hope for the best or- Which doesn't really go down well in the Hoover household if you know. Or um, you can pay like in advance for the seats because otherwise everyone gets the option 24 hours before to pick in, pick, oh my gosh, pick the seats we can check in. but. So we looked out today to pay for them because we knew we wouldn't get to pick them or whatever. Um, which is our last, like, we're moving internationally. It's a big flight for us. It's a lot leading up to it. So it'd be good to sit together, right, Will? And we Anyways, don't want crap seats. No, we don't really. And sometimes we've had it even where they don't put us together, even though we're on the same booking. So we bought two seats together. It was a row of two, which is like we're in the very back of the plane. Which so is right actually, at the back. Which then? is actually quite nice. Yeah, we get good. extra leg room. Um, it's just a row of two, so it'll just be Will and I. I have a little extra leg room, um, but for two seats, it was like 160 pounds, um, which is crazy considering if we were able to check in 20 hours before, if you weren't from the UK, if you were an American, I guess, or not even, just not in the green card process situation. Well, I'm just like in between two different green cards. Yeah, no, I know. So that's, but, um, but the yeah, thing is, it's just funny. If you get put on like bad seats, like right in the middle of the plane, like no, like, and it's just, and it's just not good. You would pay yeah. the money in a heartbeat, but it's like now. It's I know like, in oh, advance when you're like not in the situation and you don't know how it would turn out. You're like, oh, it's really worth it. Or maybe how many bags you had to take, or like stressed yeah. about whatever. We're checking in like probably like what five, six, five. I don't know what it will end up being. It's just a lot. All of it's a lot. So it'll be nice to know that the seats is taken care of. But it's just unfortunate that it is the way it is. But you know, whatever. Um, we just bleed money these days. Um, it's a drop. <laughs> it's a drop in the ocean. And then I look at this though. I don't know if you can see. It's obviously some, got some rain, but all the mountains and the clouds, and it's just so beautiful. Um, but yeah, so that's what's kind of been going on with us. It's been a nice day so far, so. That's the scoop. Thankful for the chill time. We went to a cute little restaurant inside a glass house. We're sitting inside outside. Inside outside, that's what I said. Oh, look at this. How cute are these little jars? Mm. Some little snacks. I think this will do well. I think this will do. Cheers. Had to. Had to. Heckish. Alright, you gonna take a slice? Oh, now I can take a slice. Yeah, because I wanted to show them it full. It looks very hot. Hot, hot, hot. Mm. Is it very hot or is it okay? Just like boiling hot. Boiling hot, okay. Oh, this is so beautiful. Will is, um, Will's looking for the tripod. There he goes. He might take a little cute photo. Wow, stunning. I wanted to show you guys our little place we're staying. Fortunately, Whoa. there is a crane. Yeah, the crane's perfect but timing. But look at this absolute oh, stunning perfect. view. Um, that little yellow building is part of where we're staying and where this like little stone house, which is actually being covered by that bush right behind there. Um, and there's like a pool and a sauna and everything, but it's pretty nice. So. We've loved it. We've had breakfast here too every day and it's been great. So happy with it. You guys, welcome back to another day of Lake Como. It's actually our last full day of our like holiday vacation travels because tomorrow we fly back to London for like 24 hours. Um, so. <laughs> Feeling a bit emotion about that, not gonna lie. Feeling a bit like about life right now, but we are continuing on, having another wonderful day. Um, I'm trying to remember where we last left off with you. Last night, we just kind of chilled at home and had a cozy little night in, put a little fireplace on the TV, didn't I? Um, so lit our little autumnal candle. Will got some like takeaway pizzas and french fries and salad and a bunch of food and we ate at home salad. and uh, we did have a salad and just chilled at home um my back was actually hurting pretty badly which i've told you about from the from moment the where i fell down the stairs so it was good just to like chill and take it easy had some drinks had some of our local wine that we've collected and yeah just had a really nice night in um we just took the ferry from M Muso. Muso. No, uh, Menagio. We're staying in Muso. Staying in Muso. Okay. From to Menagio to Vareno. This is our current little view. Um, our ferry. That I think that is our ferry right there that we just got off of. Um, Should we stay and, in Muso because? Oh yeah, there's music. Um, loud. I took some shots of the drive. The drive. 
the boat, I mean, right. um, over and it was absolutely beautiful. So we're just now gonna go walk around, like we'll leave this little path. We're gonna walk, there's somebody playing music. So we're just standing here finishing our thought really quickly and find some food, probably drinks, and enjoy our day. Um, it's a bit colder, hence the full yeah, pants, um, jacket, sweaters, but it's actually really nice. It's nice and cozy, I'd say, so. Anything you wanna say? We're gonna find a cafe, most probably. Find an apple or spritz, most probably. Oh. Maybe some lunch. Yeah, should we give him an OOTD? This is Will's final fit. Final fit of the trip. Final fit of the trip. Okay, so he's got his Supreme t-shirt on. Jean jacket. The salmon bag from Primark that we carry our whole life in. Amazing. Yeti, sponsor him. Oh yeah, please do, that'd be amazing. <laughs> his nice chinos, his only pair of pants he brought on this entire trip. Love yep. that for you. And then my dunks that I got you for your birthday, D delayed. Yes, you because did. you just picked them out recently. That's right. I am wearing my vintage Louis Vuitton, got to start with her, she's from Copenhagen. Yeah. Um, and Primark long sleeve, this is my Primark haul, Primark Link, sweater. Primark haul link below. Um, yes, and this is just like something I got from a thrift store a long time ago, it's a blazer. These I got from a thrift store because I secondhand most everything, try to anyways. Well done. And Air Forces, um, and that's my whole fit. Here's a ponytail, jewelry, you know. Um, but yeah, I do secondhand a lot of things, but I want to try and like be able to link stuff for you. So maybe, maybe I need to like reach out, branch out some other situations so that you guys can have my links. Because otherwise it's just a thrift store, and that's kind of annoying I feel like sometimes. But it's also a good thing too, so check in soon. Show Cheers. them the view, guys. Look at this insanity. Here's the view. <laughs> Look at that. Stunning. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Got this like autumn pumpkin tortellini. It literally looks insane. What'd you get? I don't remember. Pesto, mushroom, and bacon. Papadelli. Oh my gosh, guys, it looks so good. I love the plate. Going around up at the top a bit more and just look how stunning that cliff is in this road. <gasps> it's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Stunning. Another day, another gelato mm. moment. Again, got my cafe and chocolate. Wow. You guys know I love a fruit flavor, like I love a lemon and strawberry, mm. but I did this combo recently and it's been everything to me, so. And Will got They had a Nutella. special guest flavor. Yeah. Called Biscolaria or something. It's like chocolate, vanilla, and cookies. Got that. <laughs> With like the my <coughs> normal stracciatello, just like the vanilla chocolate chip. Mm. He's a cone guy and I'm a cup guy, always. Cheers to that. You're a cup guy. <laughs> I'm a cup guy. <laughs> um, this is the view though. We're just looking at Lake Como over there on these like stairs and they put cushions on them, which is like really cute, just so you can sit. So I'm gonna do a taste mm. test actually. Okay, I'm gonna try coffee. Oh. Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Mm. That's a good cafe. Okay, this is milk chocolate. Looks quite dark, which is a good sign. Mm. Gosh, I feel like the gelato's been like, really good here, babe. Mm. Like better than like, maybe mm -hmm. we just weren't going to good places in like Rome and stuff, but. No, we went to that really good place near, near the Vatican, like a really nice place, but I don't think it was as good as this. Mm-mm. Wow. Mm. So good. Disaster but. struck the camp. You guys, you guys. Annabelle <laughs> has um, spilt. Oh, Flip, that's bad. I know. You don't oh, know. I literally how like how you do that? It's drippy. Anyway, should we have, have a tie pen? pen. Actually, not sponsored. It's meant to like squeezing. It has a little like stain remover and then like a hard kind of top for you to like rub yeah, any stains. I'm sure people get. know what tie pens are. Sorry. I do need to like I actually it wash it though. I know because it's very um it's very US, I think. Or like I remember hearing about it. Oh honestly? Kind of impressed. Oh I might have just um, spread it out a little bit. Yeah, did you just spread it out? Did you actually do something? I don't know. I'll need to probably wash these as well soon. Obviously yeah, like I think you'd wash I think that I think it might have saved it though. Like I think it will be light enough to where you wouldn't notice it. That's a lot better. Nice. This has a massive wet stain. <laughs> Alright, rock skipping. Oh no. <laughs> I thought it was a good one. Okay, wait, let me try. The one apparently show us the rock of choice. Okay.
going again. Oh, still going. Oh, okay. I'm getting some serious Woo. zoom on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to the ferry we go. To where? Manajo. Manajo. Hi. Hello. That's a wine. And what is this? Like fried cheese? Like fried cheese balls. <laughs> and like the local salami. With like, I think. The local salami. With, and it's like the local cheese. So it's going to be delicious. Should be Let's amazing. Be real here. Let's go. Cheers. Mm. It's nice. Oh, it's good. It's good. This is what it is. It's this timoncello. It's actually really good. Like Honestly, no matter if you've been watching. Really? Yeah. We already talked about this in the vlog, I think, earlier, though, because we were here a couple days ago. It's very good. We back. We'll be back. All right, you guys. It's the next morning. We've basically finished packing up. And we're about to head out and drive to Milan Airport, give our car back, fly to London, and begin our journey of moving back to Southern California. So thank you so much for coming along for all of our vlogs, and especially this Lake Como vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. We have been loving filming this for you guys and have been loving getting to, you know, see your comments and everything. So thank you, as always, for subscribing and watching my videos. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.